What's good, YouTube? It's Emmanuel here with Emmanuel R&D, and I'm back here again with another video. Today, we're going to go back to what I was doing about two months ago, exposing these rappers. Um, that we, a lot, a lot of times, we just fall just in that same mix. And Megan, um, I, I kind of held to a higher standard a little bit because I feel like she's one of the the rappers in today's rap that can actually spit her and freestyles. I, I know she got bars, even though I don't like what she's talking about, but I should have known. I should have known, man, like her being affiliated with Beyonce, having a song with Beyonce, signing a Rock Nation, her affiliation with Jay-Z. We all know how big of puppets Jay-Z and Beyonce are. Um, and I, at that point, I should have just known that, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it's just like, this is what you got to do. Uh, but so I'm very disappointed in what I'm seeing. No, I watched this video yesterday, actually. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion just paid a dark price for her comeback. Um, and I haven't just, I didn't know Megan was just like, just out of the bloom. I know her, that situation with her and Tory Lanez kind of happened. And Tory got sentenced to 10 years. Some people say that, you know, Megan Thee Stallion lied. And I, I kind of think it's something with that. I kind of think that with Tory, you know, maybe he didn't want to listen or abide by the rules that Jay-Z and Rock Nation has. So they just, you know, got him locked up and he paid a price for that um and they had megas back so i think it's kind of something to do with that but y'all this video that i'm going to show you man is very you know demonic it kind of goes with, with what doja cat was doing with all just just pushing that kind of satanic image but also just like at the same time that she just literally showing her you know her rebirth of yeah, i'm gonna let y'all watch it and find out man this is if you're making a stallion fan I would think twice about it again, but besides, you know, supporting her, supporting her music. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Meg Thee Stallion. Let's get right into it. Megan Thee Stallion is one of the many female rappers that have taken over the spotlight in hip-hop. Seeing massive success back in 2019 when she dropped her hit song, Hot Girl Summer. That summer, she was the talk of the town as the women embraced the Hot Girl Summer trend. She only grew bigger in 2020 after getting co-signs from both Jay-Z and Beyonce. Meg yep. would even sign to Jay-Z's management company, which only secured her longevity in the music industry. It appears she would be the new female rap star who could have been the next Nicki or Cardi. But instead, she kind of faded away. Meg took a hiatus from the mm. industry after the infamous incident with Tory Lanez that I'm positive you guys know all about. I covered the situation profusely and gave my opinion on what I believe truly happened that night. After the trial ended last year and Tory was sentenced to 10 years, everyone was expecting Meg to make her official comeback. For whatever reason, that comeback didn't happen as expected, as Meg waited almost an entire year before attempting her comeback with a new video. Just a few days back. And I hate that too, because Megan, like I said, Megan is one of them rappers who actually got talent. Like, she's not a sexy rapper. But taking the whole selling your soul aside, you know what I'm saying, which both of them did, of course, like, compare Sexy Red as a rapper to Megan Thee Stallion, just on pure talent. Bars. It's not even close. You know what I mean? That's, that's why when I see stuff like this, it's just like, come on. But, hey, if you want fame, if you want attention, if you want money, you got to sell out. So, this is what these rappers are doing, and it's, it's no different from any other audio, bunch of rappers that I can name, you know? Meg Thee Stallion dropped this music video for her song called Cobra. The music video has over 4 million views at the time of writing this. While Meg's fans are loving that she's back and are supporting her new video, they have no idea what the imagery in this video is truly revealing. This video instantly got my attention as it's packed with a cold imagery, which clearly depicts Meg going through a dark transformation that symbolizes her rebirth. This video explains everything we need to know about who Meg Thee Stallion is. Same thing served, Doja Cat did, her, her rebirth. Success. On this channel, we already know Meg took the same. <laughs> <laughs> like devil horns and red. It's just like, it's getting to a point where it's just like, man, it's, it don't even surprise me anymore, but it's just like, disappoints me you know what i mean like crazy Sonic Oath, all the puppets in the industry take she's an industry plant created by the labels to push a destructive agenda to young impressionable women meg's music embodies the occult principles of do what thou will her whole hot girl summer trend was inspiring women to be promiscuous telling her fans to sleep around with random people and to use men for money her music told women to use their beauty by selling it to the highest bidder Meg's music is a part of the reason so many girls are on OF, trying to make money off their beauty. 
What people don't know is that what Meg Thee Stallion is portraying is what occultists refer to as the spirit of the Scarlet Woman. You might have heard Doja Cat recently referring yeah. to herself as Scarlet, and if you're wondering why she did it, it is because Scarlet is another name for the Egyptian goddess Babylon, a pagan goddess worshipped by the Egyptians that are still worshipped by Freemasons and occultists to this day. In the occult world, Aleister Crowley, who is considered to be one of the most influential occultists to ever live, spoke about the Scarlet Woman, declaring her to be sexually free and driven by the do it thou will ideology. He often called his lovers the Scarlet Woman as they would embody the spirit of Babylon. This is exactly what Meg Thee Stallion embodies and promotes through her music. This is why her music tells her fans to sell themselves and to do whatever they want. Through Meg's music, they are trying to normalize this way of thinking. Just like male rappers are used to promote violence and destruction to the urban male youth, these females are being used to promote promiscuity and lack of self-respect. The reason Meg Thee Stallion was able to become such a star is because she took the Masonic oath long ago. She is most likely a part of the Eastern Star, which is a Masonic organization for women. The members of the Eastern Star are referred to as the Ladies of the Lodge. I know Meg Thee Stallion is an occultist, and I believe she took the Masonic oath in order to become a star. For those that are new to the channel and have no idea what the Freemasons are, they are a society of secrets full of powerful men who are behind the scenes pulling the strings. Many presidents, politicians... Oh yeah, I had a conversation with my friend too about the whole Freemason. And he was like, I don't know, I think Freemason is like not... Uh, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't think everybody has to... And I mean, to a certain extent, but I mean, like I said, I really got... I got to do some more research on Freemasonry, but... Uh, Nitrous TV, here's another reactor I look at, uh, I be watching. Um, this channel, The Truth Is, which kind of brought me into that. But I just feel like, why is everything so secretive if they don't want nobody to know? Like, even when The Truth Is kind of had that interview with a, a Freemason and he was asking him certain questions, just by him not answering some of them questions, you know off rip that, you know, they hiding something. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just the, the imagery... Um, the, the checkerboard floors that they be having, the duality in the videos, it's like, it's, it's just, it's out there at this point. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. They just pushing that image towards you. Um, so it, it's a lot, man. And celebrities have all been Freemasons. To this day, the Freemasons are controlling our society, pushing their agenda in every way possible. Just the other day, the new mayor of New York City was initiated into the Freemasons. You cannot be in a position of power without taking the Masonic oath. The Masons have been trying to force their ideologies onto the world, and these celebrities yep. are playing a part in accomplishing this. Meg Thee Stallion is one of the artists who took the oath and is being used to push this agenda. Since most Masons in the music industry don't reveal their affiliation to the public, we can identify them in two ways. One way is through the message in the core of their music, and the other way is through the symbolism they choose to display in photos and music videos. Meg clearly shows us through both of these methods that she took the Masonic oath. One common Masonic symbol that you guys always see me point out is the one eye symbolism. You will often see celebrities covering one eye either by placing their hand or an object over their eye or even just by sh And for everybody that denies that and say no, it's just whatever, like why is every, every actor, person in Hollywood, rapper, do that symbolism right there I, it has to mean something if everybody's doing it you know what i'm saying this is just like not and people a lot of people say oh you're just connecting a bunch of dots that don't add up or like it's right there in front of our face it's just like you got to choose you obviously got a right to choose what you believe in but it, it it don't make no it's not no coincidence that everybody in hollywood is doing all these symbolism you know what i'm saying the one eye symbolism it, it's like I see it all the time with a lot of people, a lot of these, you know, celebrities. So it's like, you really can't deny it no more. So, but like I said, you can believe what you believe in, but man, this putting one of their crazy. eyes in this photo, we see Meg doing exactly that, showing the one eye symbolism, which points to the Masonic all seeing eye. A prominent Masonic symbol used by the Masonic Order. By these celebrities doing this pose, they are secretly <laughs> showing their praise see, to the Masonic. Wow, look, you got Justin Bieber doing it. You got Lil Wayne. Oh my goodness, you got Jackie Chan. It's, Order. it's sad because a lot of these people I like, but it's just like you got to sell out to get to get to that point, man. Cruel world we live in, man. The world is, I feel, I do believe, I do agree with, I do believe it's somewhat ran by Masons, the world, because it's just like, even with people in the political, the government, a lot of them are Freemasons. So it's just like, 
You, you really can't deny it no more. Tunes are a proud organization full of symbols that they love incorporating with everything they do. Pay attention in your everyday life and you will start to see the same symbols everywhere. They do this because they rely so heavily on symbols to spiritually mark what they're behind. We often see celebrities incorporating these Masonic symbols into their craft, which is consumed. See that checkerboard floor right there? So from what I'm hearing and what I've been learning is that represents the duality, the good and the bad. So don't get it wrong. Like if you want to wear just a checkerboard checkerboard shirt, checkerboard shoes, that don't mean you're a Freemason. And that's what I was trying to explain to my friend. I mean, he was like, uh, so that means every time I wore a checkerboard floor that I'm promoting Satan. Like, nah, these people, all these rappers have to take an oath. You know what I'm saying? At one of these lodges. So like they're like, just like how, you know, a police officer has to take an oath to uphill the Constitution. You know, so just because you wear a checkerboard something or like or even your house, that doesn't mean you, you know, what I'm saying are a Freemason or supporting that. It's just these rappers use it for obviously they're trying to push that image and show the duality from the good and the bad. And, you know, and obviously they've already taken taken the oath long before they even blew the blown up. So is there's a difference there just for people who may not know that by the audience. In this photo, Meg is doing the one-eye symbolism pose. She can also be seen displaying the Masonic checkerboard pattern, another common Masonic symbol that is found on the floor of every Masonic lodge. In her music video with Young Thug called Don't Stop, we can see Meg showing the one-eye symbolism once again. She can also be seen dancing on top of the Masonic checkerboard floor. Even more interesting, Young Thug is the feature of this song, a confirmed Freemason who actually doesn't hide his exactly. Masonic affiliation. I'm not going to go too deep into this video, as I already covered it in the past. When it comes to Meg, we can also find her constantly using serpent imagery. She was seen displaying it in the major hit song WAP with Cardi B, as she was seen lying on the ground covered in snakes. In her music video with Dua Lipa called Sweetest Pie, she can also be seen displaying the serpent imagery. In one scene of the video, Meg is shown with a serpent tongue. At the very end of the video, she is seen in a serpent thrown in hell as she levitates over it. Now she continues this imagery in her new music video that she even named after a type of serpent. The serpent imagery is another symbol used by occultists, specifically Satanists, who worship the serpent. Meg Thee Stallion is showing herself embracing the serpent, showing her love and admiration for it. Occultists believe the serpent who represents Lucifer was who freed humanity from God's chains. Since the serpent was who led Eve and Adam to eat from the tree of knowledge, occultists see the serpent as a symbol of enlightenment and rebirth. Exactly what Meg Thee Stallion is presenting in her new music video, Cobra. She starts the song by talking about a snake shedding its skin, which occultists use to symbolize a rebirth. After Meg yeah. states this, they show she has reptile eyes, which again points to her alliance to the serpent. She is presenting herself as a literal serpent. They then show a serpent shedding its skin as Meg crawls out of the mouth of the serpent displaying her rebirth and that she's a product of the serpent itself. In another scene of the video, they show Meg in a clear box with people in suits taking pictures of her while she is shedding her skin. This is she representing a satanic transformation. It's a puppet. This scene also shows how she's controlled by the labels that are using her as she is shown locked in a clear box, which represents the lack of control she has. And it also shows how they're controlling her as they stare and take pictures of her exploiting her. At the end of the video, we see Meg ritually dancing over a spiral symbol that's on the ground. This is supposed to represent her rebirth ritual. Occultists use the spiral symbol to represent death and rebirth, and it's the whole theme of this entire video. So what is Meg referring to? What exactly is her rebirth? Well, in masonry, once a mason becomes a master mason, which is the third degree, they themselves go through a death and rebirth ritual called the Ritual of Hiram Abith. This ritual consists of a mason being ritually taken out and brought back to life, being born in the light of Freemasonry. This all points back to the moment Adam and Eve ate the fruit and were casted out of the Garden of Eden. That was the day that humanity was reborn due to Lucifer. I believe this is similar to what Meg Thee Stallion is referring to. Meg was going through an initiation and now that she has gone through the initial degrees and has finished her initiation, she must now be reborn. Hence why her first music video back shows her doing a rebirth ritual. For the last few years, we have been seeing Man. Meg being initiated into the Masonic Order. Now she is reborn and she has completed her initiation ritual. See, Meg paid a dark price to make it in the music industry. I believe she has made a blood sacrifice. Very similar to what we saw with Triple X Tentacion. And you should know the story if you saw my last video on him. If you haven't seen this Triple X Tentacion video yet, make sure you watch it immediately. It does a great job at explaining all of this. 
and there is so much undeniable evidence in that video that it would help anyone see the truth. Just like X, Meg made sacrifices to get where she is. Right as Meg started to take off, her mother passed away. Once her mother passed now, y'all might say that's another interesting one. I don't want to throw nothing out there, but it's just like a lot of these rappers and and just it seemed like they got to sacrifice somebody. Like I know three off 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 hand, um, Meg, Kanye, um, the baby. As soon as they they love one, they mom, they dad, they they die. They 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 elevated. They got elevated to a higher, you know, what I'm saying career. Like they got elevated to a higher. The careers just took off. Like, they just started getting bigger and bigger. And you might just seem like that as a, as a coincidence, but I do believe behind the scenes that, you know what I'm saying, they got to do these rituals and sacrifices to get to the top. I mean, it's Hollywood. Um, it's controversial. It's a controversial topic, but I've seen a, a little bit too many of these rappers and celebrities of their mom, their dad dying, and then all of a sudden, right after they die, they just get, they take their careers, just take off. Like, something not right away meg became a superstar and would eventually sign with jay-z's rock nation management very similar to kanye west who after starting to finally see success in the music he even admitted industry, his mom was a sacrifice while also working under jay-z kanye actually admitted his mother was a sacrifice so there's no mystery to what happened to her i'm here my mama was sacrificed you understand yeah. meg lost her mother and then signed to rock nation they then used meg the stallion to sacrifice tory lanes now, she is finally initiated and she is showing us her rebirth in this music video. This is what this music video represents, her Masonic rebirth. So many of Meg's fans are blindly supporting her being guided away from God without even noticing it. Meg has so much influence over the youth, something that is truly devastating. Most people don't realize how influential celebrities truly are. They have the youth in their hands and they shape the minds of the future. The Masons know this, and they're using these artists to push their agenda and shape the masses to their desire. This is the reason I have dedicated my channel to waking people up to this deception. I expose the artists who took the oath and are leading people away from God. I cannot force any of you guys to stop listening to Meg or any of these artists. That's not right. up to me. At the end of the day, I present the knowledge and evidence and let you guys decide what side you want to be on. This is what the Truth Is logo represents. It's the reason you see the cross on one side, the all-seeing eye on the other side, with the brain in the middle. All of us watching represent the brain. We are in the middle, and we must choose a side. I hope that my videos can help people see the truth in hopes of people choosing the right side. Meg took an oath to have fame, money, and power. She paid a dark price for it. Now, she is being used to destroy her own people and push the agenda needed for the new world they have built. Like I always say, we must remember that every day we wake up. Yeah, man, we we can stop it right there, but uh, definitely uh, it's right there, definitely right there, man. Megan's uh, rebirth ritual, um, and it's kind of the same thing Doja Cat did. And I'd be lying if I say that I don't listen to some rappers that that took the oath. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar allegedly took the oath. J Cole took the oath. Eminem, those are some of my favorites, you know what I'm saying, and I, I could continue to listen to. But my thing is, like, no matter, no matter who I listen to, nobody's going to be able to influence me, you know what I'm saying, because I got God. So I think that it's really just a matter of just, like, the ones that's, like, really, really just pushing it out there. Like, Doja Cat, you will never, ever see me, you know, listen to her. Uzi, you know what I'm saying, Trippy Red. It, it's certain rappers that is just, like, it's just way, way, way Playboy Cardi. This is the satanic image that they're pushing. It's just I don't want no parts of it, you know, at all. And then Travis Scott, like, I don't know why people just blind to the, the fact that that 2021 incident at the concert was not a ritual. Like, it was right there in front of y'all. And But y'all continue to support this, man. He didn't apologize and do none of that. But people don't care, man. It's just like it. The world is this in a tough place right now, man. But like, I'm glad I found this channel. The truth is, found this about you know a couple months ago, and I've been on it heavy. You know, he's exposing a lot of things, and some of the stuff is controversial. I'm not saying I agree with every single thing that he says, but a lot of it is just like facts right behind it. That's why the, the channel's called The Truth Is, not the opinion is. It's right there. So y'all gotta wake up, man. But um, y'all comment down below your thoughts on this video. Comment down below what do you want to see me react to next. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video.